Hi everyone, welcome back again. Uh, we are going to start every day a new series on uh, Node.js. So we will be developing uh, advanced uh, uh, modern applications, web application using Node.js and uh, Vue.js in the front end. So uh, as a Node.js framework, we are going to use one of the best uh, framework available for Node.js, which is Adonis.js. Most of the people use Express.js, which is like an entry point. But uh, if we use uh, Adonis.js, one of the best framework uh, from our point of view, because we have been developing a lot of application, complex to bigger applications uh, using uh, Adonis.js. It's extremely cool. So let's get started. So this is the Adonis.js uh, website and it's like pretty much similar to Laravel. So if you are already familiar with Laravel, you should be able to get started with Adonis.js right away. So it should not take much time from you. It's super cool and super easy. Okay, so as a front end, we will not use Adonis.js uh, default uh, uh, template library, which is uh, age maybe, but we will be using Vue.js, okay? So Vue.js by default is a very advanced uh, front end library. And it's not so cool for SSR. So for example, it's not good for um, SEO. So in order to make our system SEO friendly, we will be using Nuxt.js, which is a, a library built on top of Vue.js. So we will be using that, okay? And uh, in, normally you will have to configure everything yourself. Uh, for example, you have to configure this Adonis.js with the Nuxt.js so that the Adonis.js doesn't use uh, uh, it's a default boilerplate, so we have to use uh, some library. You can do it, uh, do it yourself, but we have found uh, one of the very best uh, Nux community which has developed a Nux template uh, as a starter point. So we will be using this library that is the one of the great uh, resource available. You just give, if you have ever used it, please give a start to this library. It's not mine, but whoever has developed it, extremely uh, helpful, okay? So let's get started. Uh, we will start a new project uh, from r uh, right from the beginning and I hope you will be able to uh, follow me okay we were we are <coughs> uh, cloning this project mm, okay so I have to write git clone it's not like bitbucket that has already uh, integrator git clone okay so it has cloned so we will go to the project uh, I think uh, project name is Adonix template but I will change the term uh, project name and let's change it to okay let's first of all let's create a folder for this series uh, let's call it Adonis JS tutorial okay and we will actually from inside and we will call it Adonis okay that's nice and we have to install all the packages and we install it will take some seconds Okay, uh, let it uh, download all the packages and meanwhile we will be, I will be showing you uh, the folder structure it is using. Okay, so first of all it has app directory and inside app directory you have commands. So very uh, less you will, you will be using it. So um, we will not be using it at all. So we have a controller which is really important. So most of the time when you create controllers it comes uh, under this folder. And if you create models it comes under this folder Okay, we used to can just model use a uh, JS model, so it's pretty much similar to Laravel. Okay, and you have services. Now, just you don't touch that one as well, so we don't have to touch that. And you have config, and in configuration, you do some changes sometime, and you do not. So yeah, we are not going to change anything here as well. Uh, we don't need. So most of the time, we will be working under controller folder and model folder. Okay. And uh, this is our backend, and we will be working for the route as app.js. Uh, and no, we will not be working on app.js at all. Uh, we have route routes.js. So this is the file we'll be uh, using for routing. 
and actually this is the router that actually provide us the view front end and uh, universal um, routes and then we have storage um, environment so let's create let's create a dot env file and for our project we will definitely use it we will be using mysql and that's it okay it's localhost database user okay root password Database. We have not created any database yet, so once we create, we will be actually uh, doing these things. Create a new database. Okay, our, uh, all, all the packages has been installed. Let's install the MySQL package. Okay. So, now let's talk about the front end that we are going to use. And it's going to be under resources folder. Normally, you, uh, you can... Uh, publish all of your assets here but normally we, we don't do that it's actually we'll go to a public folder uh, we can create a folder here and then uploads folder and we can actually um, publish all of the uh, pictures files everything in uh, in that folder so it is accessible I will show you later uh, when I create the rest of the videos Okay, so inside the resource folder, we have mostly component file, layouts file. So layouts is important. So this is the file, uh, this is the uh, file which runs first. So after this one is uh, after this one runs. So we have this uh, Nux project, and then actually it goes to all uh, inside the pages. So uh, you have to keep in mind that. We don't have router for Nuxjs. Instead of router, we have uh, pages under pages about dot view, the index dot view. So by default, it works smartly. So if you have about dot view, so your uh, routing will be about and uh, slash. It's dot index, so it's just slash. So I will show you how it works all together. So now let's start the project. npm run dev. Okay, so the project is running on this board. Okay, so this is the um, universal videos application framework. So you can see uh, it's extremely Azure friendly if you do these things. So you will see the title is available here, HTML body. So everything is available in the source code. So it's extremely Azure friendly. So once you want to have run it, so index source view is running. I will delete everything. So just start. I hope you already know Vue.js. So if you do not know Vue.js, uh, you will be able to learn from uh, this series. So you don't have to uh, know the Vue.js from the beginning. Just stick with my series. You will definitely be able to learn Vue.js uh, uh, after you finish this course. Okay. Okay, so let's create one thing. This is a very those who do, who do not know Vue.js. I have to tell one thing: whatever you have, uh, you write your HTML code, everything you write here, but you have to have a root div. Okay, so inside root div, root div or root elements, you can write all of your code. You cannot have multiple roots like this. So if you cannot have like this, you'll get an error. So it's just for the new person, uh, newbie who doesn't know. Uh, these things okay so you t you see this is a very nice setting okay now the question is from where this is coming so it's coming from default view so if you have a default thing it has it is using my folder as a component and if you go to the my folder page this is what you are seeing okay so if I disable this my footer all I need to do is I need to stop it uh, from loading so that's uh, that's all it will uh, it will auto refresh okay so uh, my server is uh, running. Uh, okay, now we have only two pages. Uh, one is about us page, and one is um, index page. So if you go to about, this is about page. Uh, now if you want to create another uh, another page, all you have to do is go to the pages and you create new file. And uh, let's create a select good view. This is my name, Sadek. You can find me on uh, Facebook. If you need any help, just let me know and ping me i will try to help you 
okay so this is the root tip i have given and let's give this is a nice my page okay so if i come into this select so remember this one is actually the name of the page so you just do that you come here okay um that's all and if you want to do some uh, multiple page routing so you have to do is like this you create a one folder let's create one and then you can create another folder two mm. new file uh, test dot view so what we do is This is nested routes. So what we do is one, two, we will not get anything, we will get an error. So we will get test. So you see this is the nested route, one, two, test, okay? Uh, that's all for today and in the next video I will be showing how you can we can pass parameters and other things. So mostly for the next few series I will be working on the VJS part so that you know uh, you learn a little bit more about Nuxjs and how you can uh, be familiar with Nuxjs first then I will move to the uh, Adonis.js okay so I will be teaching in next few videos Nuxjs and we'll go back to the Adonis.js the main Node.js product okay and if you are new to my videos and uh, 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 channel please subscribe like share and give your video comment so yeah it helps to grow and I'm very much new to this uh, YouTube video making and if you uh, keep helping me I will try to help you guys in different technologies because I have been on uh, um, uh, freelancing for five years now I have a very good a portfolio and I have a very good team already developed so uh, yeah you will be able to get a lot of information from me completely for free uh, I'm just trying to uh, give back the community what I have learned so far and I will show you my fiber profile and also I will give you three, uh, tips how you can earn money online and how you can deal with uh, clients uh, all over the world. Um, okay, so I, I hope you will uh, be able to uh, learn a lot of things from this channel. Okay, so please like, subscribe and comment and don't forget to share my videos. Thank you.